Well, this season was supposed to be the big showdown between Pep Guardiola and Jose Mourinho for the Premier League title. Um, kind of didn't work out that way. I mean, the only news on that is that they meet at the Etihad Stadium tonight when Guardiola's Manchester City side will go for the repeat of their win over Mourinho's Manchester United side in September. So what I like about this story is it's kind of funny how it's all about a top four finish for them. That's all that's at stake now. Not even a drop of silverware. And uh, that's okay for two of the biggest clubs in the world. But not good enough for Arsenal. Definitely not okay for Arsenal. See, football tricky old business. Okay, well it does show how competitive the division is, that even with the unbelievable resources, I'm talking about the money, and with two of the best managers in the world, they're both struggling for Champions League football. But what I do like about this story is that dear old Jose Mourinho kind of has to eat his words. So the only way it looks like he'll get Champions League football next season is if he wins the Europa League, which, <clears throat> wait, 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 yeah, no, 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 I'm definitely sure he said in September he'd rather not be involved in it. I'm thinking that he might have to, you know, eat his hat or something. Okay, well, Zlatan looks like uh, Manchester United and him over. Basically, injury more important than sorting out a contract, according to Jose, and yeah, the injury and the recovery period, it's a big one. But I think what's really good right now is that it could be worse for Manchester United, but it's not. Oh, oh wait, 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 it is. I mean, Mata and, and Pogba are out, but I'm sure Jose will stay very, very calm. Okay, so there's a small chance. You know the PR department that we've been talking about quite a lot at West Ham? It's because they do such a good job. Right, this week, they might actually have some real work to do because um, <clears throat> they're kind of in a pickle. The HMRC officers raided Newcastle and West Ham and arrested workers for suspected income tax and national insurance fraud. Hmm, there's a small chance that they're gonna whir up the rumour mill pretty quick this week. We are gonna see some big transfer news happening at West Ham this week. They whir up the rumour mill to divert away from this story. So I'm betting Ronaldo, Rooney, Zlatan, yeah, we'll go for Terry again. Terry again, I like that story. They'll all be joining West Ham just to divert away from this attention. So, you know I hate being right. I, I absolutely hate being right. It's just awkward. No one likes a gloater. No, no one does at all. Um, so we'll leave it there. Kante won PFA Player of the Year and Ali won Young PFA Player of the Year. And I, I told you so. Other news. You know how I like the big, the groundbreaking stories and I bring them to you. I work hard all week to get these stories and this one is a big one. You ready? Jesus recreated his trademark phone celebration with his mother ahead of his imminent first team return. Mm -hmm. See, I'm, I'm proud of that one. That one just for you. And I'm so glad I got that off my chest. I was holding on to that one all week. Wait, there's more coming in. There's a story about Ashley Young and uh, Jesse Lingard playing pranks on matter and some weird ass stories. The hard hitting journalism right here. Finally, Arsenal are back on track. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get there, there is some news coming in that uh, Sanchez, well, it, yeah. He hurt his lip last night. It was very sad. He posted a picture and then a picture of his mice on his face. Sad, sad news. Finally, Arsenal are back. Well, kind of. I mean, back as in their bid for the top four. They took home the three points last night, which means they could be on for a top four finish. But you know how I love my predictions. You ready for this one? Are you ready? FA Cup win and top four finish for Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. I went there. Okay, you don't need to throw stuff at me. And finally, Jerry Button has been suspended from football and all footballing activity for 18 months. The Burnley midfielder admitted an FA misconduct charge in relation to betting and was awaiting result, which he's now got. So basically the FA, well, his career is over, so Kai's career is short. They fined him £30,000 and they've left a guy with an addiction. Does anyone think, although his action's not right, uh, 18 months is just, just a little excessive. Just saying, just a little excessive. Okay, see you next week.